right up and then you get up to do a public speech. So, um, fellow Gallagher's, imagine you're standing right in front and facing your childhood self. What would you say? If my younger self came up to me today, uh, anxious about my future, I would firstly probably take a second to hyperventilate with her about it. And then once it clears, I would uh, tell her a few things that I've gathered in my additional years. So uh, let me properly introduce myself. My name is an Arabic word that means intelligent. So ever since my mother explained that to me, I felt this deep sense of pride and I wanted to make that my identity. So I never I did not care if I was not called beautiful. I did not care if no one considered me hilarious. I also didn't care if I wasn't picked first for basketball or if I wasn't played uh, lead vocalist in the choir. But I've always failed to be called smart. In retrospect, this was the first thing that probably set me up and made me who I am, not necessarily in a good way. You see, when I was little, I, want, I remember telling my mother that I wanted to be the person responsible for bagging and scooping the rice in the supermarkets. I loved the feeling of the rice just filtering through my fingers. When I grew a little more, I wanted to be a hairstylist only because I loved inhaling the smell of hair products. Somewhere between then and now, I started thinking about doctors, lawyers, accountants, engineers. Somewhere between then and now, it went from, I want to do this because it's so fun, to, I want to do this because, I want to do this because, I should want this. If my younger self came up to me today, I would ask her the most simple, straightforward and fun question you can ask a child. What is the meaning of life? Now, among, uh, from among all of the different answers that you might have in your head, let me pick out the most cliche one of them all. Happiness. The meaning of life is happiness. Happiness to me is actually looking forward to your Mondays. Happiness is enjoying the tiredness seeping into your bones from an all night. It is the warmth of quiet friendship and embracing the thrill of the unknown. It is, happiness is when dark circles and assignment results are not the bane of our existence. It's when simply existing is a reason enough to smile. So everything we do throughout our lives is because we think it will make us happier or less unhappy than if we didn't do it. Take study, for example. No one likes to study unless you enjoy actively life yourself. But we do it anyway. Because studying leads to better grades. Better grades is better results. Better results is better universities. And better universities is better jobs. Which leads to more money. Which we use to buy happiness. I would tell my younger self that she can sit and go after all of the goals in her life. But it would always come back to the meaning of life. I would remind her that I would remind her to stop every now and then and check in if she is happy during the pursuit of these goals. And I would plead with her to realize sooner than later if she is unhappy. Because if she is unhappy with her life on the way to her end goal, she is not going to be happy once she reaches. Contrary to most inspirational speeches, she shouldn't care if she never reaches any one of her goals or achieves any one of her dreams, as long as she is enjoying the journey. If your younger self came up with you, would they find you in happiness? Or would they find you running a race with no finish time?